Hi guys, in this video I want to just do an example of rolling a six-sided die in slightly different fashion than I've done in previous. So here uh, my chance experiment is rolling the six-sided die. Here is my sample space, okay, list of all six possible outcomes. And here I've set up a little table similar to a Venn diagram except I've split it into six spots, six kind of cells. And I'm going to use this to illustrate some events. So first off, let me make an event A. And I'm going to try to be as color specific as possible. Event A is the event of rolling an odd number. So one, three, five. OK? If I go back to red here, and this is my sample space here. I've split up my sample space visually into these cells. I've also s shown you my sample space in a set notation, more formally here. Okay. Now I make vent A, and I'm going to draw a dot on all the outcomes that qualify for A here. So we have the picture kind of rolling at the same time as we have this, these events being defined with set notation here. So one, three, five. Okay, let's choose another color and choose another arbitrary event. So let's choose uh, brown. Maybe brown's not too different than red. So let's choose purple. We make event B be the event of rolling greater than a uh, two. So three, four, five, six. So event B was the event of rolling greater than two. So how does that look here? So that means all these outcomes qualify for event B. Okay, now I could start talking about some unions and intersections, and I could visualize them here as well. So, union, remember, union means all outcomes that are in either of the two events. So, or you could think of it as all outcomes that are in at least one of the two events. So let's, we could see that here, but we could also, in this video, I want to make this guy here. Um, and we're going to use this later as well when we talk about independence of events. So basically, every outcome that has uh, any color dot in it would qualify for A union B, right? It's all outcomes that are in either A or B. So. One, three, four, five, six. The only outcome that didn't qualify for A union B was two. Okay, now A intersection B member was something different. It was all outcomes that are in both A and B. So here I'm looking for all the cells in this picture that have both a purple dot for B and a blue dot for A. So one would not qualify, two obviously would not, but three does, four would not, five does, and six does not. So the intersection of A and B are the outcomes three and five. And we could have seen that here by looking at it this way. I think the visual is a lot clearer to see. I can also and quickly and easily answer the question, are A and B disjoint? We clearly see that the answer to this is a resounding no, because A intersect B is not empty, right? It's clearly not empty. We saw there's two outcomes that the events share in common. So they are, in fact, not disjoint. They are joint. 
Let's look at something we may not have seen before. Let's look at the complement of a union. Okay, so the complement of A or B is all outcomes that are not in A or B, which only is outcome two, rolling a two. Okay, now useful identity here. is that the union the complement of a union is equal to the intersection of the complements so let's see if this is the case okay so a complement is equal to just two right uh sorry no where's a let's scroll up and see where what a is again a is all odd numbers. So a complement is going to be all even numbers. And b complement is going to be um, all outcomes that are not in b. So that's 1 and 2. Okay. Now, which outcomes are in both a complement and b complement? Well, let's go through this carefully. 2, and that's it, right? So A complement and B complement is just the event 2, and that's exactly what we got when we did the complement of the union of A or B, okay? So this identity is, for us, at least in this tutorial series, new. Okay. Now there's also this also goes the other way in the sense that the inter the complement of an intersection is equal to the union of the complements. Okay, so let's show this with this example. We have a union B Uh, sorry, A intersect B. We got this over here, right? So the complement of that is all outcomes that aren't in A intersect B. So basically everything but 3 and 5. So we have 1, 2, not 3, 4, not 5, and 6. Okay? Let's see if that equals. A complement union B complement. A complement union B complement means all outcomes that are in either A complement or in B complement. So we have A complement and B complement already done here. Okay, so let's look at them. So we have all events that are in, so the events that are in uh, either of the two. So two, clearly, four, six and one all qualify so if I just reorder these you see that this and this are identical okay so that's a second useful identity so let me put this in red this should always hold and this okay now these two guys that I have boxed in in red here these are new uh, concepts for us, or new identities rather for us, and they become useful sometimes. It's a lot easier to arrive at one of these than the other, even though um, we might be interested in, in the complement of an intersection. It might be very difficult for us to get this. So we can break this up into the union of the two events, comp the complement of the two events. In other words, what I have here. And this might be a lot easier to work with. In this example, because we have a very fund basic elementary example of rolling a die, we were able to check these both ways quite easily and see that they are exactly the same. Okay, so yet more practice and more tools 
for you to tackle probability questions, which can get quite hairy. So it's nice to have a good arsenal of identities, tools, and relationships that you know can hold, um, help you kind of finesse your way through a problem. All right, so keep watching this series. Check out my other tutorial videos as well. I have a lot of data analysis um, with R, Excel, Google Sheets, and various other software packages on my channel, Jalayer Academy. Make sure to share and subscribe. Until next time, have a great day.